Maya is one of the best 3D modeling and animation packages that artists and studios use all around the world. Even though Maya was one of the last 3D software to hit the market compared to the other 3D major packages, it found its place in many industries such as VFX and video game development right from the start, because it was not created from thin air. It was a result of many advances in animation technologies and many other events that took place before it became what it is today. This is the story of the rise of Maya. Maya was brought to existence in the 1990s, a period of time when competition of making better and efficient 3D software was fierce. In the early 1990s, the VFX and 3D gaming industry was growing rapidly due to the availability of 3D packages that allowed studios to push the quality of their visual effects in addition to achieving more natural animations with better looking graphics and characters and environments in video games. In 1995, Toy Story, the first 3D animated feature, was released and Silicon Graphics, historically known as Silicon Graphics Computer Systems, which was an American high-performance computing manufacturer producing computer hardware and software, purchased Alias and Wavefront and combined them into Alias Wavefront. The merger, which would lead to the creation of Maya a few years later, happened in response to Microsoft's recent acquisition of Softimage, which was seen as a threat to silicon graphics market dominance in selling expensive workstations for use with computer graphics software. Softimage was a genius 3D package in that period we are talking about. That's why it was loved by studios and artists who used it, and it was a source of fear for competitors. Silicon Graphics was already in partnership with Alias as their hardware provider, selling a workstation every time Alias sold the software. In turn, Alias, which was found in Toronto in 1983 by four people with the goal of producing user-friendly animation programs, had taken its name from the only paying gig the company had at the time, writing anti-aliasing programs for Silicon Graphics users. By the early 1990s, when a lot of things were happening in the world of computer graphics, Alias already had a good reputation in the entertainment industry, at first through its modeling software Alias, which was one of the earliest programs to use NURBS and later through Power Animator. This was closely linked to the use of Alias software by Industrial Light & Magic ILM, which received a lot of publicity in 1989 when they won the Academy Award of Best Visual Effects with the Abyss. This gave Alias Software high profile recognition for the first time in a movie animation when pseudopod creature in the film, which was seen as one of the most technologically advanced at the time, was made with Alias NURBS rather than standard polygons. The following year, Alias released Powered Animator and ILM again won the Academy Award for Best Visual Effects with Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Power Animator was used in the film to create Arnold Schwarzenegger's main enemy, the Chromium Killer Cyborg. Schwarzenegger earned $12 million for his role in the film. The Liquid's middleman's production cost worked out to be $460,000 per minute, compared to just $200,000 per minute for Schwarzenegger. From here, Power Animator was used on numerous Hollywood blockbusters and in 1993, ILM again won the Academy Award for Effects in Jurassic Park, which remains one of the most important films for the development of computer graphics and its use in film. In addition to the giant animatronic dinosaur created for the film, the first computer animated dinosaur ever hit the screen and for this, Power Animator was used. With the success of the film, new companies such as Digital Domain was starting up and the VFX industry was being built. At this point, Alias had all the important film companies with Disney, Pixar, Sony Pictures, Imageworks, and other clients on the list. This is also when the development of Maya first got started at Alias. Meanwhile, Wavefront, which was set up in California in 1984, and just like Alias intent of producing graphic software, had reached out internationally and was better placed to reach the overseas markets. An early investor in the company was the government of Belgium and offices in Brussels were opened. They also acquired the French company Thompson Digital Images who held innovative animation technology that went into the core architecture of Maya after the merger, as well as allowed expansion into Asian and European markets. When Maya was released in 1998 as a new flagship product for Alias Wavefront, it was the culmination of three 3D software lines. 
Wavefront's Advanced Visualizer, Thompson Digital Images Explorer, and Alias Power Animator, with the development having started at Alias already in 1993. Maya, which is a concept Hindu philosophy and roughly is translated from a word that means illusion. It quickly became the film industry standard as it was already well placed in the market, taken over from Power Animator, which was cancelled shortly after the release of Maya. Alias Wavefront clients were switching over to the new platform, which was already in the use at many VFX houses before the official release. Some of the companies on the list of beta testers were Cinesight, Square, Blue Sky Studios, and Ronda Graphics. Just like Jurassic Park had been important in establishing the use of computer graphics for special effects, another movie also including Dinosaurs was crucial for the development of Maya, this was Disney's Dinosaur which when it came out in 2000 was the most expensive film of the year at a production budget of 127 million dollars. It also made extensive use of CG dinosaurs which was composited on a dramatic live action background filmed at scenic locations around the Americas. Disney worked closely with Alias on the development of Maya during the production of the film, requesting a customizable user interface which was a particular influence on Maya's open architecture something that's partially responsible for why the program has become so popular in the industry. Maya continued to be used by ILM on the new Star Wars prequel and also received a big push in 2001, the year Meta Ray support for Maya came and the world's first photorealistic film came out with Final Fantasy The Spirits Within from Square which used Maya to create all the digital characters in the film. In the beginning, Maya came in two versions, the cheaper Maya Complete for modeling, animation and rendering, and Maya Ultimate, which was aimed at the high-end production houses including effects such as cloth and fur plus some advanced modeling tools. Initially, these were priced high with Maya Ultimate at $16,000 and Maya Complete at $7,500. This was later reduced with a massive price drop to $7,000 and $2,000 respectively. Dynamics is one of Maya's core strength, and Alias continued to build this with the introduction of Nucleus Solver and N-Cloth with version 8.5. Replacing the more cumbersome cloth, the Nucleus Solver is the common solver for Maya allowing different effects to interact which could be possible with independent solvers. And the N-Dynamics system has been expanded on since with the addition of N-Particles and N-Hair. Even though Maya had a big influence on the VFX industry, also it played a very important role in the game development industry as well. Actually, Alias Software Power Animator was already being used in the animation industry, in addition to of course 3ds Max and Softimage that was really going strong in the late 90s and the early 2000s. Many studios over the years switched from software such as Softimage and 3ds Max to use Maya because of the good animation tools it inherited from Alias and Wavefront software. For example, the 2005 Resident Evil 4, which is a third-person shooter survival horror video game developed by Capcom Production, used Maya to work on a lot of video game environments in addition to the animation work. Resident Evil 4 was named Game of the Year in 2005 at Spike Video Game Awards by Nintendo Power and Game Informer. Also, IGN gave the game Best Artistic Design Award in its Best 2005 segment, and the International Game Developers Association nominated Resident Evil 4 for their Best Visual Arts Award. Maya 8.5 was the last version to be put out by Alias before the company was acquired by Autodesk in early 2006 for $197 million. When the next version was released, it was as Maya 2008 rather than version 9, thus streamlining the naming convention for development cycles with other Autodesk programs such as 3ds Max. With Maya 2010, the two main versions, Maya Complete and Maya Ultimate, were dropped and combined into one package that went on sales for $3,495. In 2008, the team that developed Maya's Fluid Effects system was given the Academy Award for Technical Achievement, the third the software itself had been awarded so far. In addition, it had been used to create award-winning effects on every movie for the last 20 years or so. And in 2013, Autodesk released Maya LT, a new version of Maya aimed at indie game developers 
and costing around $800, although the official news release described its features as having been customized specifically for video game work, Maya LT is essentially a cut-down version of Maya 2014 at that time. With Maya 2015, Autodesk announced a new fluid solver to be added called the Bifrost. This is the solver from Nyad, a fluid simulator that was acquired by Autodesk in 2012 along with its development team that are now responsible for integrating the technology and bringing it into Maya users. Exotic Matter began shipping Nyad around 2011 after it was used on movies including Avatar and The Chronicles of Narnia. It was developed by two veteran artists from Double Negative using the in-house fluid system and the release has put Nyad's innovative toolset within reach of studios worldwide. And after Autodesk acquired this technology, it became one of the most important toolsets in creating visual effects. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the next one.